Hey guys, it's Awesome Video Maker, and um, I just got this gun this afternoon. Get this knife out of the way. My butterfly knife. Um, it is. It's called an A17, but it's a M16. Um, the stock is black. The grip is black. The magazine is black. I'm not gonna take it out because it's full. The vertical grip is black, the flashlight is black, and the red dot is black. This is aiming down the sight, if I can get it good. This is aiming down the sights when you have a red dot on. And if you can focus in here. It says O2 right below the sight, just like on some of the guns in Black Ops. It says O2 right there. Anyways, I like it on just the normal one. Uh, this is in the normal gun. This is how you cock it. But this is just to get at your hop-up elevation. And if you don't know what hop up is, then you can go be a retard like you are. Um, the breach opens like that. And if you look there, there's those turny things. All you have to do is turn them and then you got it. The vertical grip. All you have to do is unscrew this part. See it twist? And then you just twist it back on pretty tight. The flashlight is blue, which is awesome. I left the red dot on for some reason. Look at the flashlight. You press the button here. It looks like blue. This is what it looks like with the red dot and the flashlight on pointing at you. See, red dot is on, and the flashlight's on. Look down the barrel. The magazine has a thing on the bottom that you twist, and that puts pressure on the spring that pushes the BBs out of the hole because there is no outer spring like you see on the cheaper models. <clears throat> I just got it today, so. Just a second, let me turn all this shit off. Is it off? Yep. Okay. Has the normal handle like the M16 does. For easy cargo. The grip is got the thing on it. The padding. It's a pretty sweet gun. You can elevate it here, the down up. Um, <clears throat> this is where you switch it. If you can see, that says safe. Here, I'll, if I can find a flashlight, I'll shine it on it because it's pretty dark in my room. Which I don't think I'll be able to do because I don't have any flashlights around at the moment. Actually, I have a little one right here and on my knife. I gotta put the camera down for a sec. There. I got the flashlight on. Um, right there. No better. Anyways, it just says safe, semi, full. All I have to do is turn this. Um. Yeah, and it's made by Panther Carbine. This is all the tactical rails on my handgun. It's not that good of a handgun. 
Oh yeah, this is how you take it off the thing to put the battery in at the bottom of the back of the stock. You push this part right here. Button, videotape it at the same time. Like that, it falls right out. And you reach in there and you pull out the thing. It's got the tip for the battery and the cord and everything. And then the battery is huge. Like this. It's like humongous. Um, the cord's pretty long. It goes all the way there to there, which is the plug in base. And overall, it's a pretty good gun. Even though I haven't shot it, it looks nice. I'll probably put a video up when I start shooting it. It's got the sling things right here for the sling and up here by the forearm. Got a lot of tactical rails. Has four all together. One on each side. <clears throat> and then my handgun has two. The grip actually fits on my handgun. <clears throat> if you guys can look at nothing for a few seconds. I'll put the grip on the handgun because it looks really cool. Look, makes it look like the scorpion. See how fast I I took it off the M16 and put it on the pistol. And, like, look at it, it's awesome. You can do that, or you can hold it like this and pull it with your thumb. Doesn't really have really good sights. You just cock it like you normally would. It's cocked now. As you see, the spring is under pressure. And then it just pops. Thanks for watching, guys. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye.